Coach Kelly, thank you for taking time with us at Off the Block Blog. Um, you know, the first question I'm going to ask you, what are the, uh, your initial questions of the match? Uh, good first match. Uh, it's nice to come out and kind of get things rock and roll. It's been a long fall working on a lot of stuff, so it's good to come out and play a, a really good NGI team and uh, battle it for uh, the three sets. It was good stuff. What uh, challenges did they present tonight? I thought they passed the ball well. They passed the ball well. They're able to run quick off the net. Um, they have a new guy, a big outside hitter from Spain, who's really good. He's going to help them out quite a bit. And so um, they present challenges right out of the gates. And they have a little bit of depth at opposite. So I think uh, he, I think they pulled Kowalski a little early. And then uh, I forgot who they put in, but that guy was tearing us apart for a good portion of the time. Speaking of Oppos, uh, your Oppo did pretty well tonight. Speak uh, about Hess's uh, performance. Oh, I'm stoked for Hess. You know, Hess is, uh, Hess is a workhorse. He's been a workhorse for three years for us. He's been a, an incredible kid. He's a guy that's always in the gym first. He's setting up. He's taking stuff down. He's just an incredible young man. And uh, to see him do well, he's been doing well all year, is, is great. And um, he's got a lot of confidence, and he's uh, doing a lot of different things great, serving, blocking. He's digging a lot of volleyballs. He's a calming presence. So I'm, I'm stoked for him tonight. How much was uh, it to uh, have uh, a uh, fellow uh, national team coach uh, in the house and uh, Princeton head coach uh, Sam Swiesky? I was stoked. He's, he's over here right now, a good friend of mine. Uh, Pat Schwarn's here. We actually did a holiday camp all together, which was uh, great. Those guys are awesome guys. Um, I know that Danny's friends with them and John's good friends with everybody, so it's kind of nice that we all can agree to let people in here and uh, watch the match. It just feels more like family, so it's awesome. Um, let's uh, get back to uh, the UCLA team. Um, a couple of questions. Uh, one, uh, uh, um, are you guys committed to uh, having JT at uh, Libera for the season, or are you still trying to figure that out? We'll see. <laughs> I, we've got, we got some depth on this team, and we can move around some things and, and, and give different looks. It's just going to depend. And uh, Micah, um, are you guys committed to having him as a soul setter, or are you uh, still, is the 6-2 uh, to a stone option? That's a John Sparrow question. So if I have recruiting questions, I can ask you. Sure. <laughs> sure. Um, let, let's uh, look at uh, head in the next uh, week. Uh, mm -hmm. you, by this weekend, you guys play uh, McKendree and King, yep. and then next week, uh, next Saturday, uh, Wednesday, you play uh, Irvine. Uh, can you preview those matches? Uh, start with uh, McKendree and uh, King. What uh, challenges do they present? Uh, beginning of the season is always really hard because you don't um, have a whole lot of data on teams, like you're pulling up old video or you're trying to figure out who played last year, and so you don't have a whole lot of information. Um, so I don't really know what King has to offer. I know that we have some information on them, and we'll go from there. Uh, McKendry, I think, turned over some players, and so it'll be nice to see them and get a good look at them before we get to play them. Um, Irvine, Santa Barbara, that's just fresh looks for them next this year. We got to see uh, Santa Barbara this fall, and they were physical, and they were running fast, and they were the effort level was really high, and they were pretty athletic. And you know, Irvine is a, a big team in the past. It looks like they're a big team again, and so. It will just be a fresh look for Irvine, and we'll have to adjust pretty quickly. How much, uh, with especially with a short um, lay, uh, layoff between matches and just being early on, how much of uh, the team's performance is about you guys improving as much as you are preparing for other teams? That's a good question. I think right now it's about us a little bit more. I mean, beginning of the season, everyone's trying to get used to it and get some rhythm. and. There's different errors that occur um, than during the season, like later on in the season. So I think right now it's really about focusing on us and making sure our systems are crisp and our dialogue is good and um, our touch on the ball is continuing to improve. Like I think it's, it's a little bit more about our side of the, 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 the net at this point. I know that you'll give uh, <coughs> Coach Kim and call this a lot of uh, credit uh, for his team, um, team uh, fighting back into each of the yeah. sets, but I felt like at, at certain points, during the uh, each of the three sets, the, the your team kind of uh, took the uh, foot off the gas. Is that a concern with you at all? I don't know that we took our foot off the gas. We might have. I, I think it's first match jitters, first match kind of figuring things out. I think they did a good job. I think in the second set, uh, number 15 went back and started bombing some serves and caused some problems. 
we had a couple misfires. I don't think that was letting the foot off the gas. I think it was like trying to figure something out and it didn't work. And all of a sudden now it's, you're not up by five, you're now up by one or down by one. It just changes the whole thing. So I think it's January volleyball is what I think it is. Well, thank you for taking time with us mm -hmm. off the block and uh, good luck uh, this um, season, uh, especially since uh, expect expectations are high since you guys are hosting the, the uh, NCAA tournament. All right, well, happy new year and thanks for doing what you do as always.